Hello again. Today we're going to have a look at the UAG Monarch case for the iPhone SE 2020 edition. Now this one's been military drop tested. It's got the leather and it says it's for the new iPhone 4.7. Obviously UAG weren't sure what they were going to call it. But here it is. I decided to get the red version because I got the product red phone and I thought that the two would go nicely together. So taking a look around the box, on the back it's just going through the, the layers of protection and as it says it's made in, uh, designed in California. So you've got five layers of protection, impact resistant rubber, armor frame, premium material so that's either leather or carbon fiber, polycarbonate shear plate and the alloy screws. Okay, so it's nicely made, it's nice and strong and durable, and it has a 10-year guarantee for anyone who wants to keep their iPhone SE for 10 years. Uh, this will, of course, work if you have an iPhone 7, iPhone 8, because they all have the same size and shell. Or if you have the older UAG Monarch case from the iPhone 8, you can use it on your iPhone SE. Okay, let's get this out of the box so that you can see it. Right, so the design has changed slightly from the iPhone 8 version. The iPhone 8 version was rounded on the corners. This one's more squared off. It has the same red color, and you've got all of your holes for speakers and charging. And they always include a nice big charging hole. Grips on the sides are different. They had a honeycomb version before. These are, these are more slatted. It smells of leather, but very faintly. But overall, it seems a very nice case. It feels a little bit harder than usual. Um, usually it's quite a soft case. But this one feels a bit harder than before. It's a different colour, as you can see, because the... The new iPhone SE is a little bit of a, a salmon pink color on the back, but if you compare the case to the sides where the aluminium are, it's exactly the same color, like a blood red, and it looks really nice. It's a shame, I, I don't really like the glass on the back of the iPhones. I don't use wireless charging, so I'd rather have aluminium, really. It's one less thing you have to break. Having a little bit of trouble getting it in. There we go. As I said, the, the rubber on this is a bit harder. I'm not sure why. It's usually quite soft and sticky. Maybe that's why they changed it. It's a nice looking case. I don't know if you agree. Leave your comments in the comment section below if you don't. It's got a nice raised lip, as you can see there. About one and a half millimeters. All the cutouts work well. Uh, the camera cutout is nice and large and the feel in the hand is good. It doesn't make the phone much bigger than it was. Obviously if you have a leather or silicon case like this one they're the, the, the most minimal. So it does put a little bit, as you can see it's very very little compared to the silicon case in size so it doesn't make it difficult to hold or anything like that. Okay so to give you a better understanding I'll just get the calipers and show you the measurements for yourself. Right, so let's uh, let's put it across the corner here. Uh, no, that's in inches. Yep. Okay. Right. So this is about ten ten millimeters, and the UAG across there is thirteen, but that's including the little raised rubber edge there to protect the back um, can't really get the you get the idea anyway so it's not much difference at all and that makes it a very useful and usable case so again there's a close-up on the raised lip it's got a nice 1.5 mil raised lip all the way round to protect the screen 
The camera has again a 1.5 mil raised lip around that as well. Excellent case. I hope you agree and I'll see you next time. Bye bye.